While constructing a new skyscraper can attract significant attention, demolitions are often more captivating. Especially in high populated cities, demolitions can be even more breathtaking. So let's take a look at the tallest demolitions in the world. Number 7. The Brayton Point Power Station The Brayton Point Power Station was a gigantic structure that towered over the Massachusetts shoreline. The towers were 500 feet tall, or 152 meters, equivalent to a 50-story design. However, after providing power for nearly 50 years, it was time to say goodbye in 2017. Demolition professionals used 1,600 pounds of explosives to bring the structure down. But when the big moment arrived, things didn't go as planned. Instead of falling in a massive explosion, the form swayed at a 30-degree inclination, leaving everyone in wonder. After a few stressful minutes, the demolition crew decided to strategically put more explosives, causing the structure to collapse, leaving a 90-foot-tall mound of debris, the equivalent of piling a nine-story skyscraper on top of itself. Number 6. Xi'an City, China the historic city wall in Xi'an, China was built in the 14th century and has stood for centuries as a symbol of the city's tenacity and perseverance. However, the Chinese government chose to dismantle the wall in the 1950s to make space for modernization. Despite people's complaints, the wall was removed bit by section over several years with workmen using everything from pickaxes to explosives to pull it all down. Xi'an is a modern metropolis today, yet the destruction of the old city wall remains a cause of pain and regret for many. It serves as a reminder that development can come at a cost, and that sometimes, the things we cherish the most are sacrificed in the name of progress. Nonetheless, the city's rich cultural past is remembered throughout the city in museums and galleries, and the spirit of the wall lives on in the hearts and minds of the people who call Xi'an home. There are several methods for destroying a tower, but have you ever heard of a managed implosion? That's precisely what was done to bring the 31-story Ocean Tower down. Number 5. Ocean Tower Ocean Tower was a 31-story skyscraper on South Padre Island, Texas, completed in 1970 that stood 320 feet or 98 meters tall. After being condemned in 2008 owing to Hurricane Dolly's damage, the tower was eventually considered too risky to restore and was taken down in 2018. The structure was demolished using explosives, which were used safely and effectively. For the residents of South Padre Island, the destruction signaled the end of an era, since Ocean Tower had formerly been a prominent landmark and a source of pride for the island. The procedure serves as a reminder of the significance of readiness and safety against natural disasters, as well as the ever-changing nature of our planet. The Ocean Structure site is now an empty lot, yet the memories of the structure live on. Number 4. Mina Plaza the Mina Plaza was a 35-story skyscraper in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia that stood 541 feet or 165 meters in height and was completed in 1979. After being considered dangerous in the early 2000s and failed attempts to repair the structure, the decision was reached in 2013 to destroy the tower. Although there were worries about the influence on the surrounding environment, the demolition procedure was accomplished successfully. The location of Mina Plaza is now an empty lot, but the tower's legacy lives on as a reminder of the necessity of safety and upkeep in tall structures. The skyscraper had been a major component of the Riyadh skyline, serving as a business and residential complex. Its deconstruction signals the end of an era and the start of a new chapter in the city's history. As we come so far on this journey, let us know if we missed any fascinating buildings. Stick till the end because the upcoming demolitions will leave you on the edge of your seat. Number 3. J.L. Hudson's J.L. Hudson's was a 25-story skyscraper in Detroit, Michigan, USA that stood 439 feet or 134 meters tall and was constructed in 1929. It was originally the highest department store in the world and it was an iconic component of the Detroit skyline for many years. However, the business was forced to close in the 1980s and the structure was left abandoned and in ruin. The tower was demolished in 1998 because the cost to repair the building was too high. The demolition required the use of explosives and was done in less than 10 seconds. The demolition was a devastating moment in Detroit's history, and it showed the end of memory for many of the city's people who had grown up with the famous structure. Number 2. The AFA Tower the AFA Tower, also known as the San Paolo Tower, was a 30-story skyscraper in Turin, Italy that was completed in 1958 and was 541 feet tall, or 165 meters. It was originally the Italian bank San Paolo IMI's headquarters. After the bank was combined with another in 2007, the tower became outdated and it was decided to destroy it. 
The demolition, which included explosives, began in 2010. The tower was built in two sections, and the location is now a public park, named after the Italian architect and designer Carlo Molina. The AFA Tower's removal illustrates the changing character of our cities and the necessity to adapt to new challenges and possibilities. It serves as a reminder of the significance of adjusting to new conditions while conserving our city's architectural legacy. The location currently reflects a new chapter in Turin's history as the city continues to adapt and grow. The landmark tower, positioned high above Yokohama, was a symbol of Japan's economic might and technical superiority. Even the tallest structures must eventually fall. Number 1. The Landmark Tower The Landmark Tower in Yokohama, Japan was a 50-story skyscraper that stood 971 feet or 296 meters tall. It was the highest building in Japan until it was taken over in 2012 by the Abino Harukas in Osaka. However, the tower had difficulties such as earthquakes and its usage as a commercial property became less profitable as a result of competition from newer structures. It was decided to demolish the tower using a combination of traditional and high-tech demolition procedures, including the deployment of robots to remove specific elements of the structure. The landmark tower was dismantled successfully in 2020 and the land is currently being converted into a new business and residential complex. This demolition process shows the ever-changing character of cities and the need to adapt to new problems and possibilities, while also underlining the significance of using new technology and procedures to ensure safe and effective tall structure deconstruction. The demolition of the landmark tower heralds the start of a new chapter in the history of Yokohama, Japan. What are your thoughts on the destruction of the world's highest towers? Now that you've witnessed some of the world's tallest buildings meet their end spectacularly, are you sad to see them demolished or are you looking forward to seeing what fresh advancements will take their place? One thing is certain, the demolition of these structures serves as a reminder of the amazing marvels of engineering and design that our civilization has accomplished. If you enjoyed learning about the world's tallest demolished buildings, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.